2017 Lincoln Continental vs. 2017 Genesis G90, Compare Cars The 2017 Lincoln Continental and 2017 Genesis G90 are two different takes on flagship-level luxury. Each provides its own way of pampering the driver, and all passengers along for the ride. But there can only be one winner. It's a close one. But in our eyes the Genesis G90 does the top-end luxury thing just a little better than the Continental. Read more about how we rate cars. Last year, neither the G90 nor the Continental existed, each has its own unique coming to fruition story. Genesis is a new brand spawned by parent company Hyundai. Genesis takes its inspiration from Toyota's Lexus division as a high-end nameplate that places pampering above all else. Previously. The G90 was known as the Hyundai Equus, but the 2017 is an all-new evolution of the old Equus. Lincoln, on the other hand, is hardly a new arrival into the luxury space, but parent company Ford neglected the brand to the point of irrelevancy. But the Continental signals the beginning of a new era, with just a few cues to the brand's illustrious and nearly forgotten past lurking for those willing to take a look. Both cars play up the luxury look well with greenhouses, that is, the glass area, that could be facsimiles of one another. The G90's snub-nosed front end is almost anonymous, but its dramatically swept-back tail lamps convey more of a sense of purpose. The Continental is more visually intriguing with subtle bits like door handles just below the window sills and a finely detailed grille adding interest without coming across as gaudy. Their differences mount inside. The Lincoln feels a little gauche to us on the priciest versions and a bit basic otherwise. It's all down to careful trim selection, but fortunately Lincoln has many choices on offer. The G90 is conventional but shows incredible attention to detail in its materials and button placement. Neither is a slouch, but again there are some choices to be made in terms of performance. The Continental line starts with a fairly pedestrian 305 horsepower 3.7 liter V6, but the optional 335 horsepower 2.7 liter twin turbo V6 feels more at home here. The engine of choice, at least for us, is the 400 horsepower twin turbo 3.0 liter V6. It's the strongest engine on offer and it sends power to all four wheels via a six-speed automatic gearbox that feels down a cog or two by luxury-grade standards. On the G90, buyers get to pick between a 3.3-liter twin-turbo V6 rated at 365 horsepower or a strong, 420 horsepower V8, both of which are mated to an eight-speed automatic with the choice of rear or all-wheel drive. For the most part. It's the G90 that drives more like a true luxury car. It's as composed and refined as a Lexus LS or Mercedes-Benz S-Class, but at a fraction of the price. The Continental reveals its lower-end front drive roots too often, even with the big V6 under its hood.